The story begins with young Barry and Nora Allen stuck on the road when their car broke down. Barry calls out a couple of strangers who don't bother to stop and help. Nora imparts some wisdom to Barry from her grandmother, accept the things you cannot change, have the courage to change the things you can, and have the wisdom to know the difference. They later find a gasoline station near them, so they walk toward it. One time, as Barry returns home from school, he finds the place in a mess with her mother on the floor dead. Until now, no one still knows what happened, and Barry, aka The Flash, continues to blame himself for it. As he and Iris visit his mother's grave, Flash gets an alert on a break-in at the Flash Museum. He heads to scout the place when he finds Top, who attacks him from a blind spot. The Mirror Master and Heat Wave later confront him. Just as he's about to defeat them both, Captain Boomerang and Captain Cold join the fight. Outnumbered, Flash got caught in sticky liquid which he could not escape. Professor Thawne, aka Zoom, his archenemy, makes his entrance and admits that he is the mastermind behind it all. He reveals his grand master plan of destroying Central City, as he straps bombs on the villains and Flash. Flash manages to liquefy the sticky stuff on his arm and throws it at Zoom to stop him from leaving. Zoom has resigned to his fate and will throw his life just to destroy Flash's good name in one of the city's darkest hours. When all hope was lost, the Justice League arrived. Batman confirms that the bombs are difficult to disarm even for him. Wonder Woman tries to interrogate Zoom with the Lasso of Truth. But even Zoom cannot disarm them. With no time left, Flash proposes that the League grab a bomb and disarm them at separate locations. Green Lantern and Batman catch the Mirror Master, Captain Adam and Cyborg have Captain Boomerang, Wonder Woman has Captain Cold, Aquaman grabs Top, and Superman has Heat Wave. Each one of them disarm the bombs in their own way. Batman cuts off the belt where the bomb is, while Cyborg uses his technology to disarm it. Wonder Woman uses Cold's weapon to freeze the belt and forcibly breaks it off. And Aquaman uses a million microbes to eat away at the wiring while Superman smothered the explosion in his hands. With the last remaining bomb on Flash, he created a sonic blast that destroyed the bomb. The night ends with the villains brought to justice and behind bars. Barry later wakes up at the precinct and catches the news on TV where Citizen Cold is battling Captain Boomerang. Thinking there is a power struggle in the rogues, Barry runs off to the scene where he realizes that he does not have his flash ring and does not have powers. When he trips on the stairs, he meets his mom who was supposed to be dead, or so he thought. He explains that he is the Flash and a superhero. But his mom's not aware of who or what the Flash is and suspects that Flash does not exist in this world. At Gotham, Batman is chasing Yo-Yo, one of Joker's henchmen, with a missing judge. He tries to get more information on his whereabouts from Yo-Yo. Batman throws her off the building when he can't get any information. Cyborg saves Yo-Yo as she is about to hit the pavement and confronts Batman. He calls a meeting with the Resistance members to convince Batman to join them in the upcoming war between the Atlanteans and the Amazons. He explains that millions had already died in the war, especially when Aquaman and Atlantis sank all of Eastern Europe into the bottom of the ocean, while Wonder Woman and the Amazons invaded the United Kingdom claiming it to be New Themyscira. Batman points out that Captain Atom died, saying the same things. Cyborg explains that Captain Atom confronted Aquaman and Wonder Woman without a plan or backup. The Resistance is determined to take out Wonder Woman and Aquaman before the war destroys the rest of the world. To do so, they need the world's best strategist, Batman. Despite Cyborg's cries for help, Batman walks away from it all. Still trying to make sense of it all, Barry runs to Star Labs to find Iris and discovers that she too has a different life with a husband and a daughter. Hoping for insight, Barry drives to the Wayne Manor to find Batman, but finds the mansion decrepit instead. As he makes his way to the Batcave, he later discovers that Batman is Thomas Wayne, whereas instead of Bruce's parents dying in that alley in the world, Bruce died in this one. Barry explains that he comes from another world, but when he takes out his costume, he finds Zoom's outfit instead and suspects that Zoom changed the timeline. He explains that he and Zap can tap into the Speed Force, which allows them to bend the laws of physics, which grants them super speed. With it, Zoom can travel through time. In that respect, Flash should be able to do the same. To do that, he convinces Batman to recreate the conditions that gave him super speed by strapping Barry to a chair and waiting for lightning to strike. When lightning struck, instead of getting his superpowers, he got third-degree burns and was knocked unconscious. 
Back at New Themyscira, Steve Trevor is being pursued by the Amazons for illegally entering their territory. He's later caught by Wonder Woman who uses the Lasso of Truth on him. He reveals that he was ordered to retrieve Lois Lane, a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist. He explains that she was embedded into New Themyscira for the last three months to gather intel on the Amazons under the beck and call of Cyborg. While the Amazons fear that Cyborg is amassing strength from the outside world to interfere with the war, Wonder Woman reassures them that he will fail. Wonder Woman orders the rest of the Amazons to find and bring this Lois to her. With that, she floats into the air, hanging Steve, until he dies. Meanwhile, Lex Luthor and Deathstroke search for Aquaman's doomsday device on the eastern seaboard before he can use it to wipe out another continent. By tracing the power source, Lex should be able to track where it is, but the Atlanteans soon discover them. They're outnumbered and outmatched, and Aquaman kills them all, leaving no survivors. The US president talks down Cyborg after Lex's mission fails, but not before he sends the last known coordinates of Aquaman's WMD. Cyborg offers to have his ragtag team of superheroes retrieve the device, but the president refuses given that they stand no chance without Batman. Instead, the president sends the might of the US military to attack the device and relieve Cyborg of his duty. While unconscious, Barry sees his memories change to the new timeline. Instead of Superman's ship dropping in Smallville, it went straight to Metropolis, creating a massive explosion. Aquaman and Wonder Woman agree to an alliance to bring about an heir that would unite both races. Queen Mira of Atlantis is displeased with it and attacks Wonder Woman, who defends herself and kills her instead. The death of their queen was too big to ignore, and Atlantis waged war on Themyscira and the Amazons. Meanwhile, at Gotham City, Thomas beats the burglar who shot Bruce, while Martha, Bruce's mother, and Thomas's wife goes crazy when she cannot handle her son's death and becomes the Joker. Later, Barry wakes up in pain and explains that he slowly remembers the changes in the timeline and that it would not take long before he ultimately forgets his old life. Determined to get the world back out to the way it was, they rerun the experiment, and this time Barry got his powers back. Somewhere in the Atlantic Volco, Aquaman's advisor tries to convince Aquaman to reconsider using the device again as he fears it would destroy the surface world and the ocean floor with it. Left with no choice, Aquaman takes New Themyscira by force if necessary. He orders his men to prepare for a surface invasion. Volko feels guilty for having taken millions of lives when it was later revealed that the power source for Aquaman's device was the missing Captain Atom. Back in New Themyscira, Lois tries to break free from her pursuers. When she thought she had made the slip, the Amazons got her cornered. As she awaits her death, Resistance members arrive and save her. She wonders who the speedster that saved her is, but Grifter explains that their team has no speedster. Lois recognizes the remaining members of his team, Godiva, Miss Hyde, Canterbury Cricket, and a demon from hell who calls himself Etrigan. Barry heals from his burns using speed force and tries to test his new suit. He tried to run as fast as he could, fast enough that he would be able to break through the time barrier and travel back, returning everything to the way it was. He stumbles, falls on his knees, and feels dejected, forced to believe that he may have to accept this new reality as his world. Meanwhile, the US government pulls out all the stops and hires Hal Jordan, aka Green Lantern in Flash's world, known as the best Air Force pilot, to pilot an alien spaceship and blow up Aquaman's armada. Hal is up to the task and makes it past the enemy. When he's about to crash the ship directly on top of Aquaman's main force, a giant creature appears out of nowhere and Hal flies directly into its mouth, where it blows up without even grazing Aquaman's army. Flash returns to Batman and explains that he's not fast enough to break through the time barrier, possibly because another speedster is tapping into the speed force, which keeps him from fully accessing it. He assumes it was the work of Zoom and that he is stopping him from time traveling. Flash suggests they look for Superman, who he considers to be the strongest of the superheroes. Batman explains that there's no such being, but confirms that a meteorite crashed on Metropolis when Superman was supposed to be found by the Kents in Flash's original world. Batman calls Cyborg to check intel in the government system to see what they know about the meteorite that crashed on Metropolis 30 years ago. Cyborg managed to find where they were keeping him in an underground facility. Flash is shocked to find a frail and weakened Superman, who Batman questions his so-called greatest superhero. 
As they escort Superman back to the surface, they are met by the US military, which is ordered to retrieve Superman. As Superman sees his friends take a beating, he flies into the air and wipes them out. Fearing his powers, he flew into the air, never to be seen. Flash collapses as his memories change again while the memories of his old world and the new one clash. Flash later wakes up with Cyborg, Batman, and the Shazam kids to regroup on what to do next. Flash convinces them to take the fight to Aquaman and Wonder Woman. He explains that they must remove their leaders and the war will end. Flash thanks Batman for joining their suicide mission. Batman explains that his change of heart was due to a news of Lois being saved by a speedster, which both he and Flash suspect is Zoom baiting him. As they make the trip to London where New Themyscira is supposed to be, their plane gets shot at in the air by Aquaman's men. They safely arrive on the battlefield waiting for Aquaman and Wonder Woman. As the Atlanteans enter the New Themyscira, they are led to a trap where the Amazons wait for them. As the two forces battle a new player in town, the Resistance Group joins the action. Flash managed to separate Aquaman and fight him with Cyborg and Batman while the Shazam Kids aka Captain Thunder handles Wonder Woman. Flash saved Batman as he bled from his wounds when shot from behind. Feeling helpless over losing his friends, Zoom appears before him and the two are neck and neck on each other. Over time, Zoom proves to be faster than Flash, as he gives him a brutal beating while Flash is forced to watch his friends die one by one. Wonder Woman managed to overpower Captain Thunder, brutally killing them when they return to ordinary kids. Meanwhile, Cyborg is outmatched and Aquaman strips him apart and crushes his heart. Flash blames Zoom for everything, but he reveals that Flash changed the timeline when he saved his mother. Zoom explains that although he only saved his mother, his actions have a ripple effect that radiates from the point of impact, shifting everything slightly enough for events to happen differently from how they were supposed to. Just before Cyborg dies, Superman returns and takes one of Aquaman's hands. Aquaman retreats when he finds everyone is dead. Wonder Woman appears behind and kills him before Aquaman triggers his device as the explosion slowly crept on the battlefield. Flash was helpless as Zoom ensured he could not siphon the speed force enough to time travel. Batman shoots Zoom from behind out of nowhere and hands Flash a letter to his son Bruce. Flash makes the last dash before the world ends and breaks through the time barrier where he sees a younger Flash trying to save their mom. He managed to catch up to him and stopped it from ever happening. Barry later wakes up in the precinct with things as they were supposed to be. He later visits his mom's grave when Iris meets up with him and he kisses her. Later that night, Flash meets with Batman, recounts his adventure, and gives him the letter from his father. The End Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.